while some insects might seem very harmless to your snails there are a lot of insects that are very dangerous to have in your snail farm especially this which is a beetle the larva form of this beetle is a ferocious snail predator that bites the snail injects its venom to paralyze the snail and feed on the snail meat even using its shell as shelter when these lava find their way to your farm, they can wipe out the whole snail farm within a period of time if care is not taken. That's why in this video I'll be discussing about the snail ultimate predator and how to prevent it on your farm. So without wasting much of our time, let's go! My first encounter with this lava was around 2 years ago, 2021, while I was checking through the farm when I found a small shell that looked strange on the inside. Immediately, I knew something wasn't right and as the curious person I am, I decided to break the snail shell to see what's on the inside. And this is what I found. Oops! At this point, I never had any information on what this was or what was the name or even what to think of it. But I just knew I needed to dig deeper just to make sure I found what the cause and what this stands for and the implication on the snails and the implication also on the farm in general when it comes to the commercial and the financial aspects of it. What really fascinated me then was how did it manage to squeeze through a small snail just like the one I was holding in this video, that's the comparison. Weeks after I've been trying to figure out what it was, the lava started appearing on the farm. And then I knew I had to collect as many samples as I could to do more research and also to study their behavioral pattern. The first thing I observed was that the lava attached itself to the snail, just like the one you are seeing in the video I'm removing on the snail shell. Then it bites the snail to secrete the venom that paralyzes the snail. After paralyzing the snail, it feeds on the snail flesh to derive nutrients for growth and also uses the snail shell for shelter. After collecting enough lava sample, I decided to prepare a conducive environment where I will place the lava and also some baby snails so I'll be able to at least understand how they attack and whether they will even attack these in this kind of environment and even enter the snails just like I observed on the farm. And inside the prepared environment, I placed two healthy baby snails and also one lava just one lava because i wanted to actually understand what really happens and i use this transparent container so i'll be able to at least monitor day in day out and see what is going on and also you can see the container is well perforated this is to allow cross ventilation and also to allow the humidity and all to be in check After a few days, I opened the container and everything looks normal but after picking up a snail and it was obvious one of the snail shell looks empty. So I decided to break the shell to see what's inside. And voila, the lava already attacked and ate the snails and now it's using the shell as shelter. It can also be observed that the size has changed and the lava is way bigger than it was when we started the experiment. I return the lava into the container with the second unaffected snail to observe whether it's going to attack the snail also like it did to the first one. It did attack the second one also, but I don't have any footage to show on that because the camera wasn't recording while I was removing the snail from the container. The name of the predator is the Drillers B2 lava and here is the adult male form. The male and the female physically looks different because they possess sexual dimorphism. With the female capable of laying up to 250 eggs that hatch into lava within 30 days and seek to attack the first victim within 24 hours after eclusion, that means after it turns into um, lava. The snail shell above I'm trying to remove the lava from is the second snail I placed the lava with in the experiment we conducted. And you can see that it has attacked and it is even bigger than it was the second time I placed it with the snail. 
the larva stage can last up to two years in some species of this B2 and just one larva is capable of attacking and feeding on many snails during its life which makes them the ultimate snail predator. Their major targets are snails which makes them useful in some cases as snail biocontrol agents but for snail farmers they are complete nightmare. The larva attacks smaller snail breed like garden snails Achatina fulica and also the hatchlings and babies of the giant African land snail Achatina marginata. They don't often attack bigger and adult snails because of their size. In case it is difficult for you to identify the different sizes of snail and also the breeds of snail we have, I've made videos on these two topics previously which I'll be sharing the link or it will be displayed at the end of this video so you can view the videos and learn from that. Before we get to the solution and the prevention of this lava, please if you've not done so, support our channel grow by liking our videos, subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to stay notified once we release quality videos on the channel. To prevent against this lava evasion on your farm, it all starts from the point of stocking your greenhouse because the attack is more prevalent in the free range system. When you bring in new snails into your farm, always check the snails if possible individually to make sure there are no lava attached to them. Other preventive measures that works for soldier ants is also applicable to them. So if you've not seen the last video I uploaded on snail death where I was focusing on soldier ants and other insects, please do so to learn other precautions that will be helping you to fight the lava also. Although the same prevention methods might work for them in general, but the solution when the B2 lava attacks is different from the method of managing the soldier ant attack I showed in the last video. The solution shown in the last video can't work for the B2 lava. In order to solve the B2 lava attack, the first thing to do is to actually first discover their attack on your farm. The easiest way to discover them is by looking out for their bright unique color which is bright orange or yellow towards the head, black around the middle and also orange at the end for the lava. And for the adult male, it has a shiny dark coat. Although their look varies with their species, so it might look slightly different where you are depending on the B2 species. Thirdly is the empty shell. Break any empty shell you see for the smaller snails, they might be inside. The solution after you've discovered them on your farm right now is to remove all the snails to another section, fumigate the affected greenhouse thoroughly like twice with pesticide and wait till the chemical effect is gone before you return the snails into the same greenhouse. Let me know in the comment section if you've seen the same B2 lava on your farm previously or you are currently battling it on your farm. And that will be all on this one till the next video, a peace.